Hi, this is Nikolai Belich and I'm going to show this back synchronization of data from Visio to Excel. Yeah, with this back sync add-in. So, what we have now? We have an Excel file with one row and we have a shape which is bound to this row using standard uh, Visio shape binding. Yeah, so Basically, for example, if I change some property here to say uh, many times R, okay, and then go here and refresh the data, oops, then I get this A property X is shown as data graphics, and I will change it as well. And upon refresh, it is update. So for example if I change now something in mm, Visio file normally you don't get anything reflected in Excel uh, but with the help of this add-in <laughs> you build. So basically I have changed this value now I click synchronize and here I have option to synchronize all my data, the data sets or just selected ones or preview changes. Uh, let's go now for example for preview changes. I will click preview. Yeah, and now I see here uh, at the bottom in the well preview window and conflicts window what will be changed actually. As uh, I detected that uh, actually there is a change in shape, yeah. I have changed xxx to changed value and the planned action is actually update source that is update excel. So we are done with the preview so now I click that one more time and click synchronize all. Yep and value goes to excel here. So that's it basically. Uh, if I change the date for example for I don't know today yeah. Same thing, synchronize, synchronize all. This time I will not do preview. Uh, yep, and we get the data in, in, in the current date in Excel. Uh, good, so now about conflicts. So what if I change the same value on shape that is? And in Excel sheet, let's go with this property. Mm, value A. And here we will have the, for the very same item. Yeah, we have already A, so let it be B. Okay. And now I click synchronize, synchronize all, and I get the message that there are conflicts between excellent video because it was modified in both places. And here I have a conflict list. So you see, uh, the original value was changed value. And in the data source it was changed to value A and in the shape it was changed to value B. Now I have an option to, well, choose what I want here actually, the value I want. I right click it and say, for example, use value B from shape. Now I click synchronize again, click synchronize all, yep, and value B goes to Excel. That's it basically about the conflict resolution, yeah. Uh, now what's more is supported that for example I can duplicate this shape uh, I click Ctrl D and I get a new shape uh, the add-in asks if I want to add a new row yes I want and it automatically clears the name of the object because it is primary key and is bound by this primary key I will add some new person here for example Jack Johnson whoever that is yeah now I have two items here in Visio and only one row in Excel now I click synchronize and click preview all the add-in detects that there is a new row in Visio yeah and it suggested action is just to add to source so let's do it actually. Synchronize all. And here we get a new row in Excel. That's it. 
Okay, mm, let's try it with another data source. Uh, I will delete now all the data here. Uh, delete because I don't want that. This I will also delete. I will start from scratch basically. I have a website here, mm, a SharePoint website. Mm. And there is a list, my data list, prepared with two items, yeah? So now we will try the same thing with a, yeah, with a SharePoint, yeah? Let's try it. I will do link data to shapes. Then I will select SharePoint list. This one. Next. I want my data list. Next. Finish. Now I have two items here. Yeah. I will add them to the drawing. There are a lot of SharePoint stuff. We are only interested in the title and property one yeah, here. So let's try to change something here. Property one. That was prop one. Let's say we want this to be prop A. Yeah. Now we click synchronize and then we click synchronize all. Yep, it is done. Let's refresh our data in SharePoint. And here we go. New property value. Okay. So thank you for watching.